Uh, thanks for the donation. Why do you think uh, most Elden Ring gamers hate optimal play? Referring to as tryharding. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, I don't think I can answer that fully. I mean, the best answer I can give you is the boring answer. Like, as dumb as... Like, maybe not as dumb as it sounds, but like as... Unfortunate as it sounds. Like... A lot of people are actually like most people don't have the winner's mentality. And what is the winner's mentality? It the winner's mentality or not necessarily don't confuse the winner's mentality with the tryhard mentality. Two different things. But the winner's mentality is to give it your all in in the things you care about, right? So that's like you could call it like a, a philosophy in life, like to just give it your all, to just do your best in whatever you care about. It doesn't matter what it is. Obviously, you're not always going to be doing your best 100% of the time on everything you're doing. And if you can do that, like, props to you. But that would be mentally very exhausting, like, doing your best, like, every time you do the fucking dishes or whatever. Like, that's just mentally exhausting. No, I mean, when we say that, we mean doing you your best at everything that you care about. Thing is, when you do your best and you don't achieve the result you're looking for, it's very, very frustrating very frustrating when you're trying as hard as you can and you're still not getting what you want you're still not getting the result you want but that's really that's life right and at the beginning that's also part of the appeal of the like the whole aspect of the invasions because no matter how hard you try it in invasions just like life you are not guaranteed to get anything out of it you're, you are not guaranteed to come out on top because you're not in control of all the factors but we digress a little bit here when it comes to like people hating tryharding, they don't like that. Um, they don't like that when they're gonna put themselves out there. They know that they're not gonna get what they want. So like they know that if they try hard, they're basically not going to win. They're not going to come out on top. So it makes them feel a little better if they're not trying their hardest and they're trying to something quirky and unique at the same time. That gives them joy knowing that. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not trying my best here. So it doesn't matter if I fail. It doesn't feel as bad. It's like some sort of like compensation. Now, I'm not gonna put everyone in that basket, but a lot of people fall in that category. That's one. Now, after that, there's legitimately people that really don't care about the game. Like when I say like getting good and, and or not getting good, but like um, doing your best in the things you care about. A lot of people don't really don't care about these games. But everyone hates losing. And when everyone hates losing, they want to avoid losing. And if you're tr using something that's good... Bro, can you play with another Ipe Armor weapon, please? It just makes for some absolutely amazing fight. Like, Ipe Armor fights are just great. You know what? We're also going to use Ipe Armor that has seven frames that we just learned just now to make it, like, extremely compelling. Oh, you know what? Veil, this is for you. Actually, if he does it. Good roll catch. Okay, he slightly knows a little bit of his timing. Not a lot, but a little bit. go around what the hell what was that it was weird ate my input there okay, well we did it sorry Vale. we didn't get a chance to do it what do you consider to be try hard in game you think it's bad to be one that's also another good question because um if you look the urban dictionary for tryhard it has like bad implications i think the like it goes along the line of like someone that tries too hard to make up for their lack of skill that's what uh tryhard means if you look at the 
Urban Dictionary. Although, one thing to be to be noted is that the Urban Dictionary is like written and compiled by votes. And so people submit their own definition and other people vote for what the definition should be, right? And so it's not like something that is agreed upon by law, like what would be like, let's say a common dictionary. So like when you go to court, for instance, little tangent, like the word, like the words you use are all agreed upon to have the same meaning. Whereas something in the urban dictionary can be up for debate. Okay, so now that this is out of the way, other definitions that you can find in the urban dictionary is simply someone just giving it their all, right? Someone trying their best. To me, that's more what it means to be a tryhard. It's just trying your best to win. For me, that's what it means. And I think the distinction between tryhards goes hand in hand in how you perceive like winning in games. And it goes back to your initial question earlier, which was like, um, if you think that most Elden Ring gamers hate optimal play, right? Like people that hate optimal play will probably use the derogatory term for tryhard. And then the people who have more like the winner's mentality will probably tend to use the tryhard meaning as in more like you give it your all, right? Literally trying hard, like word for word what the what is like the actual meaning of each, you know, each word. Playing to win is good if the game isn't degenerate. It goes back to what you care about, Chir Chirico. Like, if you think that the game does not deserve you putting it your all, it's your choice. If you think it does, it's also your choice. But it's undeniable that when you don't give, if you don't give it your all and you still are frustrated, then it becomes really a you problem. Like if you don't see it as like important enough to give it your all, but you st you feel frustrated at people that give it give it their best, then you're not being honest with yourself in some capacity. And don't get me wrong, again, not giving it your all for something you don't care about is like actually perfectly normal and also healthy. Don't get me wrong. Most of the time, people actually do care and don't want to admit it. That's usually what it comes down to. They care enough so that it feels bad to get defeated by someone else, at the very minimum. But as you say, most people who hate tryharding suck but want to hide it with cope. Yeah, that's probably the more simple way to put it. But like I said, this doesn't encompass like every single behavior. Like this is like one subset of people. But I don't have like an answer for ev why everyone acts like that or why everyone prefers that. Okay, let, let me let me put it that way. There's like a legitimate counter argument when it comes to like people liking quirky setup because they're unique and they don't see them often. It can be fun to fight something fresh and different, right? Although to be fair, in all reality, this happens very, 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 like, rarely. You don't see that a lot. Like, I actually, like, it's not unique, for instance, to fight with a flail, right? Like, you've seen flails before. It has a boring moveset. Like, because it's off meta doesn't make it, like, necessarily more fun to play. Like, playing against a flail. 